In this video, we're going to learn how to iterate line items inside Make. So if you guys don't already have a Make account, you can do so and sign up at simongondack.com slash make. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new scenario and I am just going to use a WooCommerce order that has an array. So I'm just going to say get an order and I'm going to put in an order ID 2037 and I'm going to click save and I'm going to click run once. So I have this right. And if I go down to my line items, I can see that I have this array. So I have two um, line items in my array. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna use the iterator, um, flow control iterator, and I'm just gonna put in line items. Awesome. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna click auto align and I'm gonna click save. And the next thing I also want to do is I want to export this to Google Sheets. So let's go something like this and we're gonna add a row. So I'm gonna choose my file and awesome. So I'm gonna connect this to Google Sheets and I'm gonna put in the order ID, the date and the name. Awesome. So I'm just gonna do this real quick and I'm gonna click run once. And I can see right here that it created two separate rows for one order, which I don't like. So I wanna put each line item right here in this order products column. So how do I do this? So I'm gonna come back to my scenario and I'm gonna add another module called text aggregator. And let's do it like this. And I'm gonna do the iterator and my text is gonna be the name of the product times the quantity. And what I also wanna do is I wanna show advanced settings and I wanna select this row separator to a comma space and I'm gonna click okay. And I'm gonna click auto align and then I'm gonna click save again and I'm gonna click run once. So I'm gonna run once and if I come back to my Google sheet I can see that nothing was here because I didn't call that, um, didn't call this right here inside my Google Sheet. So let's go back here and we're gonna do it like this. And let's click save and let's do this one more time. So I'm gonna click run and I can see this order products column. It's going to have exactly how I want it. I'm gonna iterate through each line item and I'm gonna get the name of the product and the quantity. If you guys are enjoying this video, if you could do me a favor real quick and smash that like button, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you, now let's get back to it. If we wanna do this in a uh, major scenario, maybe we're exporting orders with WooCommerce or we just wanna iterate through all the line items of a bunch of orders. Let's delete this. Let's go WooCommerce, watch orders. And I wanna do all and let's do date created and we're gonna have to just fill this back out so let's go line items right here and then we're gonna have to update these google sheets so let's go like this cool let's get this email Let's get this total. Awesome. So now I'm gonna click save and I'm actually gonna come back here and I'm just gonna delete all of this. So we're gonna start at the first row, click save. And let's say I wanna work with, you know, let's just start with one to see what that does. Let's click run once and it's gonna iterate through each of these line items and I only had one um, line item in that order, but if I, you know, move this up to about, let's do like 20, for example, let's click save and let's have this run again. Look at that. Look at that automation. I can see that I got all my orders exported as I iterated through each line item and separated it out, you know, comma separated of what was in the order based on the line items array. So that is how to easily iterate line items with make. 
And in this example, we're using a WooCommerce order for the line items in each WooCommerce order that we wanted to iterate. So if this is helpful for you guys, um, make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up. All the links can be found in the description box below. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.